All right, guys, uh, as you can see, back in England, and um, <coughs> God, my left nostril was blocked then. Apologies about that. Weird noises. But um, yeah, pretty much the day of recording this is the day that I've come back to England. Uh, it's something of a bit of a sweet day. Uh, glad to be back, but of course, I'd much rather be in Germany right now. Um, but uh, yeah. Been sorting out in the bedroom, that's why you're up here, because I do not want you to see what's going on. Not with me, but downstairs, or underneath, because there's basically DVDs and CDs everywhere, because I'm having a massive sort out. So, today we're going to Aldi, and um, yeah, we've got a, a German beer from the Rheinbacher. Brauerei, uh, do, 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 do. especially produced for Aldi stores, yeah. I'm not sure exactly what the specific brewery is, whether they're actually really quite well known in Germany, but I've seen uh, quite a few of my UK beer tuber friends reviewing this one. And uh, yeah, very familiar looking artwork. I just can't put my finger on it. I, Francis, cannot put my finger on the uh, artwork. It's a little bit dark, I apologise about that. And uh, the actual crown itself reminds me of Arsteiner. So, you know, they're obviously trying to cash in on the um, the more popular brands in Germany. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a, <laughs> a little bit of sludge on the inside of the beer. So, best of all dates, the 5th, 2018. This is a wheat beer, of course, clocking in at 5% ABV. And uh, yeah, this is probably a little bit too cold because it's fresh out the fridge, but I thought I'd take a little break after sorting out and I'm going to be doing some cooking. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of wheat beers, as you guys know, but yeah, I thought it'd be good to uh, get a German beer reviewed. And uh, the good thing about being in England is I can catch up on all of these hyped beers and all the, the real ale that I've been missing out on. So, uh, yeah, one of the glasses that I brought with me, my Schneiderweiser wheat beer glass. Didn't know if I was in the bottle then or not, uh, in the glass or not. But, um, yeah, my, my head's all over the place today, guys. Apologies about that. But, uh, yeah, let's hope I don't get homesick. Or, or would that be because I'm technically home now? You know what I mean. Let's uh, pour all that in and give that nice big head. So, beer in the glass then, and that has got a lovely haze to it, not too hazy, especially for a wheat beer. Colour is a lovely sort of like orangey golden colour, more of an orange in the middle where it's a bit more hazy. But a uh, lovely golden amber hues in there. Uh, not too many little bits of bobs floating about, just that sedimentation cloud. Beer poured for about one finger's worth of a white, foamy, actually quite creamy looking head. So yeah, it looks like what you'd expect a German wheat beer to look like. So uh, let's see what it smells like. Definitely a big hit of banana in there. Yeah, a really big banana. It reminds me of those like, uh, banana sweets that you can get. Get a little bit of a, a hoppy tone coming through as well. A little bit of nutmeg. Very slight spicy clove character. Yeasty, it's got that sort of muskiness you get with these sorts of beers as well. Yeah. Looks on point, smells on point. Let's see how it tastes. Prost. Yeah, it's a fairly standard wheat beer, uh, to be honest. Not the most exciting style, and uh, not one of my favourites, as some of you guys know. But yeah, you get that sort of like clawing effect on this one. But yeah, bubblegum, a little bit of vanilla, uh, very bready, 
yeasty as you would expect. Reminds you of bread that's not really been cooked through but is still edible if that makes sense because you get that sort of like doughy flourness coming through. That being said, not too heavy on the body and the gut and it's got a nice level of crispness to it. But it's that like clove on the back end that just like sort of claws at your palate and dries it out slightly and leaves you with that sort of like when you've had a like a, a bread and they it's got flour on top and you, you take a bite and you take a bite that's got a little bit too much flour on there if that makes sense that's the sort of characteristic I'm getting, getting from this one but yeah it's inoffensive it's standard and you know if you haven't got access to a lot of German imports or if you've been to Germany and you've so enjoyed the wheat beers pop down to your local Aldi and this is as good as the rest of them to be honest is it the best is it like uh, Weinstefaner Hefeweiss or uh, Schneiderweisser uh, wheat beer level no but if you want a solid drinking experience and you like wheat beers you could do a hell of a lot worse than this. Let's just leave it at that. For me personally, this style doesn't do anything for me. So I review these personally on my taste. And from that, I'm going to give this one a very solid, I think, 6 out of 10. So uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. It's going to go down well while I'm cooking downstairs. And uh, yeah, would I buy it again? Probably not. But I'm looking forward to trying some of the uh, the German beers that are available in Lidl and Aldi. Um, because, yeah, I want to still keep reviewing German beers. Because Germany's got such a beautiful and rich history and brewing culture in general. So I want to carry that on. And it's probably going to be a little bit more special when I do come across some like German craft beer or that sort of thing. But it won't be as... I've, I've said this in a, an update or a vlog or whatever... It won't be as uh, often as it usually is, being back in the UK. But German beers will still have a very uh, important place for me in my heart. And, you know, Augustina. Um, it's going to cost me a little bit more. But every now and then, pick up a few bottles, put them in the fridge. Solid drinking. Best beer in the world, of course. But, uh, yeah, 6 out of 10 for a fairly standard, if not, you know mediocre maybe wheat beer but anyway six out of ten still a good score still above average actually let's leave it at that but it's just not really doing anything for me so if you've tried this one then let me know your thoughts opinions down below i think a good chunk of my friends here on youtube have reviewed this one so their reviews are down below uh, check out Rheinbacher if that is indeed the brewery that does this for these guys. And uh, yeah, check out my wheat beer playlist. Check out my German beer playlist for more beer reviews. And of course, look out for more German beer reviews in the future. So uh, yeah, I've got some cooking to do because I'm bloody starving. Thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see thee later. Cheers.